Hey everyone, I am SimSweety and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. The first part was just create a sim, so this is going to be the first part with actual game gameplay. Wow, already can't speak. But, um, and we're going to meet the sims that we will be playing with. So, I suppose I will go ahead and introduce you to them right now. And also, if you see my game running a little bit slow, it's because I'm rendering a video in the background right now, which is not something I would usually do, but I really want to get these videos up quick, and I tried to render it once and failed. So, um, I'm trying that again. So, if you see, like, a little bit of lag, that would be why. So, these are our sims. Their names are Harlow Whitaker. Here's a little look at Harlow. And Astria Rosa Rosario. Well, <laughs> can't even say their names. I gave them really complex names. I was like, don't mess up, don't mess up. Okay, anyway. I never know where to start off on these stories. I guess I'll just kind of start with... I'll start with Harlow. Okay, so this is Harlow. Hello, guys. Meet Harlow. She's got dimples. She's got sideburns. She's adorable. She is a very introverted and shy sim. And she doesn't really, like, show her true personality until you're friends with her and she loves art and she's a little bit of a hipster i won't live i won't live are you kidding me i won't lie is what i was attempting to say there but when she was in high school she realized that she was bisexual and she was really like not confident in that fact i can't like think of a better word but she just kind of tried to suppress it and she was sort of depressed in high school and stuff, but then she met Astria Rosario. And for a little bit about Astria, she's a really confident sim. She's definitely a good person, I would say for sure. She had a really good upbringing, you know, like a white picket fence sort of thing. And I'll get into their traits and stuff in a minute, by the way. But in high school, Astria and Harlow became friends because I don't, it's just sort of that like opposites attract sort of thing like Astria is so confident and stuff and Astria actually let Harlow know that she is asexual and she came out to everyone it like wasn't a big deal for her and uh, Astria sort of took Harlow under her wing and they became really close friends and Astria was actually the one who helped Harlow dye her hair so I like that they just they both have colorful hair I think it's I think it's really cute and stuff so um Everyone was always really supportive of, of Astria, but you know, Astria is just sort of that people person who talks to everyone, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I feel like she's kind of the person who, like, you think they're your best friend, but then you're around other people, and you see that they act like that with everyone, and then you feel like, maybe this person's a lot more important to me than I am to them. That, I feel like, is kind of how Harlow feels towards Astria. I think is sort of that thing. So Harlow has definitely developed some feelings towards Astria, but Astria, you know, being asexual and whatnot, Harlow wants to be respectful of her sexual orientation, I guess you could say. And like I said, she's also super outgoing and kind of acts friendly to everyone. So it's really hard to tell if Astria likes Harlow back or not and uh, Astria is also kind of clueless when it comes to relationships she's just like super like just doesn't care really to everyone and she's not afraid to embarrass herself and whatnot so I think we're going to see how this plays out but the reason that they are coming to Windenburg is because when they're 18 Astria finally convinced Harlow to come out to her parents and Harlow's parents did not accept her very much so Astria decided to convince Harlow to just move away and start again and find new friends and join clubs, wink wink, and they basically left. Astria left her perfect family behind and she was willing to make that sacrifice and Harlow left her not supportive family at home, at behind, at behind. That makes so much sense. So, I think that's sort of their story. They're just both kind of nerdyish sims who are looking forward to meeting new people and starting their adult lives. I think that's it. Oh, yes. And for their traits, Harlow... Not a serial romantic. Goodness sakes, Macy, I picked the wrong one. She wants to do... Her aspiration is a soulmate. Because I would say... I mean, I gave her the flirty trait or romantic trait, whatever. But I think she's definitely more of like a hopeless romantic 
I feel like it's kind of what I was going for. She's a goofball and creative. Like I said, she loves art and things of that nature. And as for Astria, she wants to be the leader of the pack, which is a new aspiration. I have to see it. It's this, this sim wants to be the leader of the best club in town. That's that. And then I gave her two of the new traits, which I believe is all of the new traits if there was more. I'm not aware of that. My microphone's far away. I'm moving it over slightly. So she has the dance machine trait. <laughs> These sims can't wait to get down boogie and party all night. When at venues like bars, nightclubs, and lounges, these sims can get a burst of energy with the party time interaction. Dance machines also receive a happy moodlet when arriving at social venues. And she is also an insider. Oh. Uh, adorable. These sims love being in clubs and tend to be happiest when surrounded by their friends. And then the other trait I gave her is the jealous trait. And I think the way, like, I feel like jealous is sort of a harsh word for what she is, but she's just very, like, if she's in a relationship one with one person, then even though she kind of acts super friendly towards everyone, she's, like, secretly kind of jealous towards that person. And she just wants them to be, like, her person. I don't know how to just exactly describe it correctly but I feel like she's just sort of protective in a way she's she's kind of like the mom friend I would say but like the more like the partier mom friend like the mom from Mean Girls Amy Poehler <laughs> mom friend oh that doesn't make any sense okay I think we're good to go their relationship is set to roommates right yes okay 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 we're good to go we're good to go Hopefully my babbling was not too boring because I'm just really excited to see the clubs and how this, how their little storyline plays out. I'm, I just hit my microphone. I was moving my notebook out of the way because I had that sitting there. Okay, I did see Windenburg for a second because it was down here and I got like so freaked out. I was like, what is going on? Okay, here's Windenburg. There's a little animation. It looks like some kind of mm, like the water monster yeah that's exactly what i meant and it's so pretty okay i don't even know where we should live where are the houses <laughs> are there houses okay yes there are houses we must choose an unoccupied lot is everyone already moved in here are we gonna have to kick someone out i think we're gonna have to kick someone out uh okay Let's go. Can I go into Manitorals? <laughs> what? I, I, I probably should have done more research. We could buy a lot. Maybe I'll just buy a lot. Oh, wait, here's, here are the houses. Okay, I'm like, seriously, what's going on? I found two houses. We have the Proprietor's Square or the uh, ha, mm, ha, <laughs> have a sham house, probably. This one is, wait, which one's, that one's more expensive, but you actually, like, get a little bit more square feet with this one. I'm just gonna go with the proprietor one, because, oh, there's this house, too. Or the rustic residence, but I feel like we would look so pathetic surrounded by all these, like, huge houses, and we can't afford that lot. Okay, we will do this house right here, furnished, yes, yes, okay. And right Sorry about, sorry about that, I got interrupted. I'm back. My brother came in my room to ask for the charger. It's all good. The phone charger. Or I think he uses an iPod. Okay, anyway, here we are. Ah, so excited. Okay, so that's like club's interface sort of area. Here's our house. It looks so pathetic. Oh my gosh. Okay. Should we do like a quick renovation? I'm, uh, what, what am I doing? Okay, right here. Uh, okay. Let's do a little quick renovation. Just like super fast. I'll probably do.
save my game because things happen and my game just always wants to crash and stab me in the back okay so here's our house we are basically broke now um but we're here so should we start a club like immediately i don't know how to do this so we're gonna find out let's have i'm having harlow join a club no i don't want a club tutorial because i can figure it out myself okay so i would say harlow would definitely she'd want to do something kind of artsy i feel like yeah, I'm going to have them do a couple clubs. I believe each sim can be in three clubs. So I think we're going to do like two clubs per sim. Maybe that's going to be too much. If we have to drop out of a club, then that's what we have to do. So I think I want her to be in the avant garde. And we actually have to apply for an invite. So it says, enjoy debating the subtle points of fine literature. Need help with your homework, or maybe you just don't fit in anywhere else. Maybe, just maybe, you could be an av you could be an avant garde, right? It's guard. Is it, it's not guard. Is it's guard? What does this button do? Okay, so this is a little bit about the club. So the leader of the club is I don't know how to say that name. Make. I I don't know. And then there's Gunther, Yuki, and Hugo. Um, requirements, I, I, I guess we meet the requirements, and what is this? Oh, we could change this? I don't know. I, the things that they do are read together, they do homework, play video games, write, and drink coffee. This totally sounds like something Harlow would be into, and they hang out at the Windenburg South Square Coffee. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply for an invite. Let's see what this says. Hi, Harlow. I heard you were interested in joining the Avant Garde. Come hang out with us, and if you impress us enough, you can ask us to apply for the Avant Garde. We're going... We're all... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ah, we're all going into the South Square Coffee. Come to the cafe with us for a coffee break. Do you want to come? So, we are going to head over to the, the South Square Coffee with the Avant Garde. So, we will be... Right there, and wow, this is like getting right into it. I didn't know this is how it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like they'd call us up later maybe or whatever, but no, we're here and we're ready to go. I don't know how long this part's been because I actually was going to put that building in like the building part, like normal speed mode, but then I decided to speed it up. Anyway, Harlow should make a good first impression on the avant guards who are gathering. She should socialize with the club members and ask to apply to avant-garde if things go well okay so we are just going to look at this okay i want to take a quick little look around the area before we get into playing let's see what we got here so this is a new coffee machine we're definitely going to have to try this out there's already a barista hired so that's nice it looks like it's vivian lewis and how this look uh, this coffee shop has a nice modern-ish kind of vibe it's just one story i've noticed so far that it seems like the lots are really big and open and also if you notice my game's going a little slow it's because i'm rendering a video so sorry about that i mentioned that before i think actually but uh just reiterating just reiterating okay so i guess we should start look at them all walk uh, they're all so snooty and then there's this guy in the back like totally slumped over slumped over sure Okay, let's start by introducing ourselves to the leader. Let's give her a friendly introduction. Oh, it looks like Astria decided to come with us. So everyone's kind of ordering their drinks right now, it looks like. Astria is waiting for the barista. Apparently she decided she's buying something. A scone? Are those new? I feel like they are. I don't know. Let's... I want to have um, you, Astria, right here, go ahead and order a drink. We will order, we could order the espresso, the Americano, cappuccino, cafe latte, mocha, perfect pre-work shot, macchiato, or the barista's recommendation. We're going to go with a pretty cheap one. Let's just do, we'll have her get the espresso because Astria doesn't really care about her coffee, where I would say Harlow is definitely more of the coffee connoisseur, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Here, you can put that down. And go and sit right here. And socialize with the club. Are you part of the club? No, she's part of the garden domes. Where are you walking? I was I was socializing. I was socializing. What does view clubs do? Where are you going? 
Well, I guess she felt like leaving. Okay, let's go ahead and try to talk to Yuki. Wait, wait, wait is, is there a secret meeting place? I'm not, okay. Let's talk to this guy right here, give him a friendly introduction. You know, just kind of meet the club. And uh, give him a nice little compliment. Discuss interest. You know, some general, like, friendly kind of things. That sort of deal. I love this, so you can just click around and just look at people. I don't know why we're talking to this girl. She's not part of the club. This is a pretty cute skin right here. She's pretty cute. She needs a custom comment skin, but that's all right. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. This is a really cool atmosphere. Did you ever get your drink? I think she did. Where are you going? I like how she's just gonna, like, insert herself right in here. I think Astria and Harlow are pretty much just, like, attached at the hip. Um, she thinks being the leader of the avant-garde is great. Have we introduced ourselves to this guy? I want to make sure- Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure we introduce ourselves to the whole club, so... I think- are we introduced to you? No, we're not. Okay, let's go introduce ourselves to this person, and we'll introduce ourselves to Yuki as well. And get to know them and then we have Astria right here just like on her phone drinking her coffee she's playful now it says your sim just became the caffeinated life of a party so why don't we have her go ahead and meet some people too we'll have her um we'll have her s we'll talk to this guy let's give him a friendly introduction I don't know just a random person are you gonna talk to Yuki now because I want to make sure you know everyone in the club <laughs> she's adorable She's, like I said, she's definitely more introverted, so I think that this is kind of um, pushing her out of her bubble a little bit for Harlow, but she's determined to just kind of start over and meet new people and be confident in herself and stuff. You guys got the same hair color. Look at that. Look at that. Why am I so annoying? Can someone answer that question? I'm like so far away from a microphone right now. Come back to me, microphone. How are you, Astria? She's just having a little conversation. I guess she's just... Just part of the convo. Whoa, I just spun the camera. Oh, whoa. We need to make sure to talk to this guy, too. Ask him about his day. So, I don't know if I'm doing this whole club thing right, to be honest. I'm just kind of trying to chat around to people. I uh, need to meet people, do what it do, and all of that stuff. And just kind of talk about the avant garde. Tell a joke about mimes. I don't know if you have to get them like super close to be able to be allowed to join the club, but Ooh, this looks like a cool sim. Okay, actually, I think we need to know her. We need to know all these names. Ul Ulrik, Ulrik Foss. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. Oh, we can't introduce ourselves. Hello, I want to meet you. Whatever. Um, what did he say? I totally ignored it. He says he and hanging out with Mike. Ha, huh, this is the main reason I enjoy the avant-garde. That's the leader. She's right here, so maybe we should talk to her a little bit more. Let's go ahead and tell her a funny story. And be like, funny story, I want to apply to your club. And hopefully I'm doing that right, and if I'm doing it wrong, then... Oops. Oops. Oh, she was accepted! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I was so afraid I was doing that wrong. Yes, Harlow! Harlow finally found a place where she's accepted! That makes me so happy! Astria, what are you up to? Are you gonna order another drink? Girl, we're gonna go broke. She wants to join a new club. We're going to do that. Foshao. She wants to chat with Yuki. Why don't we do that? Go ahead, get to know her. Be like, hey, we got the same hair. We got the same hair. When I see all these things, I just want to give a makeover so bad. Like, I'm like, let me just put a custom got that skin on you, please. Please. So we're part of the club now. Awesome. Wow, so we could praise the leader. Oh my, this is, I'm so excited. I try to convince her to step down. Yeah, right. Okay. Did you chat with her because he wanted to do that? He wanted to chat with Yuki. Go chat with Yuki. Goodness. Listen to me. Astria. Complain about love life? Wait, why would you complain about your love life? Should we just do it anyway? <laughs> Okay, every time I game Sutters, I'm like, it's totally gonna crash, totally gonna crash. Why are we complaining about our love life? Because, like, I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't even know. She's crazy. Let's be funny with Harlow. Let's go be funny with Harlow. And we could probably do that later, actually. Should we get out of here now? Because she wants to kiss someone already? You're supposed to be the shy sub. And she's like, could I make out with everyone? Okay, let's go ahead. And I think we're going to leave this event. And we'll just kind of go out from here. We'll go ahead and go here. And you can go here as well. And maybe we should, like, you know, sit at the table. Have uh, You have to pee, actually. Is there a bathroom around here? Go pee. <laughs> you should probably go as well. And then we'll join a club. Are you hungry now? Oh, no. I thought she was hungry, but she's lacking fun, actually, which is interesting. So hopefully... Okay, well... Oh, I got a text. This is... Uh, oh, I just really... Yeah, I gotta eat lunch. Hold on. My mother texted me. Don't mind me. Um, I'm just gonna, my mom asked me what I want for lunch, so I'm like, just gonna respond real quick. Um, I'll, I'll have one of the breakfast bowl thingies. That's what I'm eating for lunch, if you guys, uh, wanted to know. It's a thing. Okay, now we're gonna get out of here. Like I said, let's go to this table. I think Windenburg is stunning. We need to get a little picture, so I'm just gonna have them come sit here. So we can take a pic- oh, I just popped my microphone. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay, that was like the worst angle. Uh, look at this. It's so, like, European. I feel like we didn't even really have a word like this- a world like this in The Sims 3. Like, this is just something totally different. Okay, let's have you- what did you want to do? You want it to be funny, right? Go ahead and tell a funny story, and we'll just capture this moment. Just kidding. I'm pressing the wrong button. Get some pictures. I feel like I don't ever take enough pictures on my Sims ever since like The Sims 4 came out. So I really wanna, I wanna do more of that. All right, got some cute little pictures right there. What do you, you, you feel? Oh, embarrassed because of the. Because of the bathroom situation. I thought there was more than one toilet, okay? Okay. What can we do, like, or that are club specific? Why are you- Oh, this is- this is dumb. Do a self-deprecating joke. We could convince to quit the avant-garde. We should have uh, her talk about the avant-garde and see what she has back- Why do you want to complain about your love life so bad? Oh, probably because she's jealous? Probably. Probably. I hiccuped. That was disgusting. Okay. Stop being so embarrassed. It was chill. It was chill. I want to know what she thinks of the avant-garde so far. Will she tell us? I really need to know how to pronounce this name. I feel so bad. Mike? Mikey? Mike? Haas? Just- or House? I don't know. Just keeps making the avant-garde better and better. Can you guys hear that? Can, can you guys hear- what is that? It's like a clock tower. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay. <clears throat> my voice just got super dry. Um, what is this? She is happy from being at a club gathering. Cool, cool. <laughs> She's feeling embarrassed. Okay. We will have Astria join a club now. So, I do that. Bye. Okay, I, I think we can go into here and do it. <laughs> join a club, Astria. I don't really know what club I want her to join. I feel like... Party house. She could really do like party house. Run it. My throat is so dry right now. I need to drink water. Hey. I'd want her to do the spin master, but what do you have to... Oh, you have to be a little bit better at DJing. So we're going to have to work on that because she's currently not really good enough to do that right now. <clears throat> I'm joking. So we will just have her join the... We'll do the party house. We have to apply for an invite to that one, too. So guess what we're going to do next? Jade Rosa's called. And we will be... Actually, you know, I should end this part right here. I don't even know how long it's been because... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end it right here. So in the next part... Oh, I just bumped my desk with my chair. We will go check out the party house. And hopefully we'll be able to join that. So if you're looking forward to that, then make sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys all later. And yeah, bye!